Uh, I'm doing the Wagram report. Today's April. Today is uh, today's April 24th, I think. 2024. Today is Wednesday. All working people. I guess he's moving somebody. I don't know. Highway 401. No, no, no. Nah, plumbing outfit guy. Highway 401. So. So let's see what happens. We'll take a stroll. <clears throat> if you don't mind. Well, uh, what I'm going to do with this video is going to be short, of course. Just going to the post office and, uh, you know, just going to the post office and come back. I'll make a few comments here and there. Today's Wednesday, middle of the week, the work week for most. Today's sometimes on a Wednesday, sometimes Wednesday in the South is like, it's not a hump day, just a literally the middle of the week. Some people are six days a week here. Hey, Mr. Grumpy. Uh, I really didn't want to record him. He, he saw some good shit. I won't be on this good on this good side unless he gets on my nerves. He really saw some stuff that I really need. So, alright. I wonder if somebody brought the used store guy out because he's not there no more. It's a good it's a good used store in Wagram. So. So I wonder if uh, but I don't see him no more. Look at his dog out of his face. But his head sticking out, he's gonna get it chopped off. Anyway, I'm driving with one hand, so bear with me. This is happy paper, what is this about? Oh, I love this truck though. See the high, wheel, high wheels? Alright. Anyway, I'm driving one hand, I gotta be careful. This is 401. I'm going south. For those who don't know Wagram. Anyway, still an empty lot here. I don't know if they own it, don't own it, who owns it, the city owns it, the state owns it. I don't know if I even want to buy something like this. But anyway, I know it's worth a lot of money since a lot of land's been bought around here. And of course, any house up for sale here is not going to be on sale for long. Somebody burned the food the house over there. See that? It's messed up. On the church property. <laughs> anyway. Bible study. I think everybody needs a little bit of that in Jesus. Anyway, let's move on. I got a got something to mail. I'm trying to get a job so I can be I won't be broke and a bum. So a lot of people look at me as that. They're hiring in favor. She'll clean up this house. Yeah, it's not bad. Looking better and better every day every time I come by here. Alright. I'm going to the post office, so bear with me. It's gonna be a slight pause. Alright, post office stop. Be right back. Wagram, North Carolina. Alright, here we go. Going back to the hood. Everybody got a Mercedes Benz and I don't. I must be doing something seriously wrong in life. So everybody got a luxury car and I don't. Oh boy. Maybe because I don't got a job. Maybe we don't hire you. It's funny how there's a construction shortage. Hey, I'm a construction worker and I can't get find a job. <laughs> you know, I will give a, I will give a, I will give a, uh, how you call it? I would blame a little bit on me. I, I gotta put a little more effort in, uh, a little more effort, a little. See, I shouldn't even say that because people say, look at that, there you go. That's why you don't gotta draw, you put no effort. I said a little more effort. 
So that means if I'm going 60 miles an hour, maybe I should go 65 miles an hour. That's what I'm talking about. So it could be my fault, but I'm, I've been looking like a crackhead and I haven't found, even crackhead could find work faster than I could. That's why that's the power of being a crackhead. You could do amazing things. <laughs> That's why I love crackheads. I don't, they, they can think and do shit that you don't even think of or could do. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put a little more effort into it. That's why I'm mailing this thing out now. I mailed a few more last week, so hopefully I get some callbacks. So I can get my Mercedes been like everybody else is having. My brand new cars. And it's in this broken economy. All right, I'm moving. I'm on the other side now, going north. Going back to the house. Got stuff. Got stuff uh, cooking on the stove. Don't want to burn down the house. I will be a bum then, seriously. If my house got burned down, I'd be a bum. People looking down on me. Or say, I, I always knew you was a bum. Look at you. They give you, either they'll say it in so many ways, they'll give you that look. So we don't need that, right? All right. It's kind of quiet today, kind of relative, especially traffic wise and just street wise. Usually be some knucklehead up and down the street, but I don't see them too much no more. Damn, these railroad tracks. Any cars coming? Yeah, the cars are coming. Right. This thing, does this thing even open some half the time? I never see no activity here. Oh boy. Okay. Right here, uh, it's like a, it's probably like a party shop. Oh, that's a, let me see, that's a barbershop, right? Yeah. So right next door to it, right here. Right next door, put some kind of party hall, entertainment hall. People would come and, and I guess, celebrate whatever. There's a building right here. Let me, I'm sorry, let me point it out to you. Oops. Oh, I got, oh, I got it like that? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I got it too close, that's why. See that one right there? Yeah. That one with the all glass. Right there. Yeah, right there. Funny, a lot of people who, who doing construction or painting or any type of labor construction work is uh, Spanish, Mexican, whatever you want to call them, Guatemala, South American. Holla. So, uh, yeah, but I don't, like I said, I guess it's because of cheap, cheap labor. I don't know what it is, but I don't like this small town as this shit is. You got no disrespect and not to be racist, but you got Spanish, a lot of Spanish people doing a lot of, a lot of that work. I don't know. I hate. I keep people telling me they can't find nobody. I'm, I'm out of work and I'm broke, and they can't find nobody. Holla. So yeah, so I think that's really rude and disrespectful and, and evil. All right, but. You never see no postings, you, know you never see nobody asking for help. Uh, nobody here today. This is lick pigs. I think I discussed that in one of my last videos. They are right, they're getting a little bit better now because they got, they got stable people. And JJ, he's a, uh, so he's been a store manager. So he's been there. So things are getting back to normal with that guy. We got a used shop here. I got to go to it one day. Maybe they have something I like. Ice cream spot. I don't know what makes them think they can run an ice cream spot here. No, you sell an ice cream. You got a little bit more versatile, a little bit more, how you call it? You know, a little more, uh, what's that what I'm looking for? When you widespread, when you open to other things. So my man bringing his guns back. I said they didn't work for some black burglars or something. But that bike though, I want that little bike, at least one of them. Uh, anyway. Yeah, this building is, is coming down. I'm like, come on bro, like fix this shit or demolish it. Look at it, it's gonna kill somebody. It's funny, you see how this, these signs are right here? On the road. Let me tell you something about these guys. Not these guys in particular, but maybe it's just me, I don't be here all the time. But uh, as you see these signs today, and guess what? You won't see them signs tomorrow. I don't know if, I don't know if the kids gotta go out of business, there's not enough work. 
I'm not too sure about it. They charge too much, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, and you know, if you're not known, if you're just popping up, you might find it a little difficult. You know, to uh, to 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 get some work from people who don't really know you like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's hard to open. Up, it's hard. It's hard to be a startup. And 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 believe me, I definitely. Some towns and some places, especially Scotland County, needs people to do construction work. But some people don't want to pay, and that's just so purely evil. Uh, anyway, I'm about to head home here. So I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of Wayground, North Carolina, Highway 401, and all the criminals and shy individuals that live, work, and and travel up and down here. All right. All right. So try to listen, people. Okay, you you seem like you get more credit to more views to uh to uh to guys who do walking tours and e-bike tours of Kennington and Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, not me. Hit the like button. Alright, subscribe to my videos. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm about to go to work. I got I might do some bullshit work. Go! That's a, that's that's southern. I like one thing I like about South is everybody got their hands up, you know, trying to wave at you and do the right thing. So, I like that. Other than that, the South is not as nice as it should be. That's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, mind, if I even mind out the racism and the undercover bigotry, it's still not as nice as it should be or or, as grown, or, or I have grown up to think it was. It just, right. but one thing I'm about to say about some of the black dogs, you know, they seem pretty cool, but... Some look like murderers, but they don't fuck with you and they smile. So I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm really hoping I'm wrong. I'm not ho hoping I'm right. But so you know, they seem pretty cool and I kind of like them. And they don't really mess with me. I mean, they don't even say no. I mean, of course they don't say nothing, but they don't. How you call it? Oh, dead turtle here. I'm pissed. So that's compost. Anyway, well, let me get out of here. So maybe I have a different view outlook on North Carolina, the South, and Wagram. But this is a quick report. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And I'll see you soon. Like and subscribe, please, before I bust your head, before I put a bullet in you. Thank you.